Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yogi, welcome to Daily Discipline number 644, primarily in a row. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here, honored and humbled that you keep coming back for reals. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's been a crazy day. Got up this morning, went to the gym with Sam, right on the calls, been on the phone almost all morning, got my kids here. Well, wait, it is what it is. It's uh, it's a hump day. Hump day! That's for you, Aunt Barb. It is also Aunt Jenny's birthday, 722. July 22nd, 2020. Happy birthday, Aunt Jenny. Hope you have an amazing day. It's a work day for me. I'm sure you've got work to do too. So let's do it. First thing first, still the realist. You know what else I'm doing? I'm grinding. And to me, what grinding means, that means you sit there and you get your work done even when you don't feel like it, which is the hardest time to get your work done when you don't feel like it. Um, let's move on to our real talk quickly. Can three minutes change your opinion? Yeah. Or at least it can for me, right? So... I'll give you a little backstory. Can three minutes change your opinion, right? So um, this week I've been working on a, a, a coach's certification for Sam's football. A lot, right? It's like a lot of, a lot of class. And so it's all done virtually. And um, they're talking about, you know, I was in the section yesterday where they were talking about the impact that a an authority figure, a coach can have on a kid's life. And I remember, you know, a couple of coaches that I, you know, had when I was younger that said, look, you you could be really special at this if you apply yourself. Then I think about all the managers that I work for professionally. Same thing, right? And those are the ones that I always wanted to work the hardest for, the ones that saw the potential in me and said, hey, let's try this. And let's try that. It wasn't negative. It wasn't personal, any of those things. It was nurturing, right? And so what I'd heard, again, um, sorry, I'm kind of hopping all around the place. What I'm talking about is Jason Garrett, right? So Jason Garrett played for the Cowboys forever, was Troy Aikman's backup. Um, he then went into coaching. He's been with the Cowboys for like 20 years and was a mediocre head coach, right? Um, which kind of goes back to that thing, would you rather be feared or admired? And for all I've heard is that everybody loved Jason Garrett. They loved him. They're just, you know, a great guy to be around, just a quality human being. And then yesterday, you know, right as they're talking about the impact a coach can have, they have this three minute video where he's presenting to a group of coaches and saying, Hey, I want to share a story about the coach that, that meant the most to me, right? One of them along the way, the one that it just, it changed everything. But he's talking about going to college and this coach that, you know, admittedly wasn't a great quarterbacks coach. He's like, but I'm going to figure it out. And I'm going to figure it out with you. And he's like, and one of the things that he talked about, he's like, and I never knew it as they were doing, he was teaching me life lessons through football. And he said, he was on my case about my footwork. You know, that when I take a step, when I do, take a snap and do my drops, um, I hunched over, which is a very common thing to do. So he was always on me. Three-step drop, stand tall, stand tall, stand tall. Five-step drop, stand tall, stand tall. He's like, he just ingrained it in my mind. Stand tall, stand tall. And then he took it a step further. He's like, look, it's easy to stand tall when you're back there by yourself and practicing. When it's hard to stand tall is when adversity, also known as the defense, comes at you. Your receivers run the wrong route. You know, you got you got to stand tall because you can see the field. You can't see the you can't see the field, can't see down the field what's going on if you're ducking, if you're hiding. It's like he's teaching me life lessons. Like, look, in life, when life comes at you, you can't duck and hide. You have to stand tall. And um, man, he got emotional telling the story. I got emotional watching him tell the story. I get emotional telling you about him telling the story. It's just beautiful. And so What's my point, right? Like our opinion can change on somebody very quickly with some new perspective. But most importantly, all of us are often in situations where we're talking to somebody who's younger than us, that they look up to us. They look at us from a position of authority and how important it is for us to be nurturing and kind. Hey, Sissy, want to say hi to you guys real quick? Hi. Hey. Um, and so it's just, it was a beautiful thing. And as I'm doing this coaching thing, I was like, you know, that there's the ticket, right? No matter how much we want to yell and scream at somebody, just remember, be nurturing. You catch more. What is that? Yeah. Just be nurturing, right? Remember transactional analysis. If you are a overbearing, negative, aggressive parent, the person on the other side of that is going to go into rebellious child. That's just how it works for all of us. So if we want somebody to listen, to be adaptive, we have to be the nurturing parent, even though that might not be our child. And somebody who looks up to us in a parental role, like a coach, manager, role model, whatever it is. All right, let's move on to our thank yous and then shut it down. Number one, God is good. God's been good to us in the good times and the bad. 
I'm thankful for daddy duty, like these, this one and that one back there. Like it's been a crazy busy morning, hasn't it, sissy? Like when I told you I hadn't done my daily discipline, you were shocked, weren't you? Right? And so just like, you know, as I've grown to understand over the last couple of years, when my kids are here, when I'm trying to work and I get upset and stressed out about it, I can't take it out on them. It's not her fault. I mean, she's cross-eyed and everything, but it's not her fault that she's here during the day. Uh, I'm thankful for USA Football to put together that, that training program. And you know, that was just a great story. It just really moved me. Um, and I'm thankful for all of the stuff they make us do to be a coach, right? You're never, ever going to weed out all the creeps and there's going to be people that are going to cheat and do all that stuff. But I'm just thankful that they try. I'm thankful for COVID. COVID's going to change the way we go to school, the way we live our lives, everything. And it's easy to complain about it. It's going to make us better as a, as a species. I'm thankful for this season, right? This is difficult, right? It's hard. Life's hard right now. It's only going to make us better, right? I'm thankful for two day and tomorrow. Two plus two always equals four. Forever. I love that. I'm thankful for the truth that as the truth comes out about things, you know, uh, I had a situation at work and as the truth is exposed, like, oh, well, there's the answer, right? Uh, I'm thankful for the examples that come along, right? Sometimes we're, we are attracted to a person and I'm not talking sexually or romantically. I'm talking like, you know, just as like, wow, I like what that person's about. And then the closer you get, sometimes you're like, wow, it's all just talk, right? And those are examples of, we just don't want to be like that, right? Or, or at least I don't, right? Like I want people that look up to me, the closer they get to me, the more they want to be around me. Not, <clears throat> that's an empty chair. And then finally, our last thank yous of the day, for Ann Jen, right? Plus, so I got J12 plus three, which are the three stinky boys she lives with, plus one, which is that dog. Happy birthday, Ann Jen, and you are the best. Who's her? All right. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. We appreciate you stopping by on a hump day. Give him a hump day, sissy. Hump day. We'll be back tomorrow on a thank yous Thursday. Joy. Yeah. We'll see you then. Deuces. Hashtag real talk. Love you. Bye.